Hello everyone, my name is Anatoly and today we are reacting to another episode of South Park Recommended by you guys Today's episode is called Asimo Let's see how this goes What the heck? Whoa! What a huge package! Two butters studs Oh boy, it's for me! It's for me! Who is it from? Sent from Japan Konnichiwa Wow! A package for me from Japan! <laughs> well, what could it be? My birthday isn't until September 11th. September 11. I see what you did there. Oh boy, I've never got a package this big. I've always wanted to have a huge package. <laughs> Greetings, I am the ISMO 4000. Is this one of those typical pranks from Cartman? Where Butters is gonna end up with something yucky in his mouth. Whoa. I have been sent from Japan to serve as your personal robot. You... you're my robot? Yes, I will be your new best friend. A pretty big bone robot. But kids, never open random boxes. Especially if you were born on September 11. Yep, that's right. He's a real live robot. He can walk and talk and everything. You're like the fourth kid I've told already. <laughs> Well, I gotta go, Dougie. My robot and I have stuff to do. <laughs> They're all so jealous. Well, I'm so glad you came into my life, Asimo. You're the best friend a guy could have. Yes, you can trust Asimo. In fact, you should tell Asimo all your most personal secrets. Asimo will not make fun of you or tell your secrets to other people instead. Hey, yeah. Well, I can tell you anything, huh? Well, let's see. Well, for one, I have what's called a hesiated colon, which means I sometimes can't control my sphincter. To <laughs> I gotta say, the English word sphincter, it always sounded kind of weird to me. It's like this machine from Egypt that produces sphinxes. Well, nobody knows it, but sometimes I poop my pants so I have to wear a diaper to school. <laughs> you okay, Osmo? Yes, Osmo is fine. Please go on. Well, I have to take medicine for it every day. It's a little suppository I have to put up my rectum. <laughs> that, that, that's very interesting. Tell Osmo more secrets. I think in two minutes we learn more about Butters than in 100 episodes. Okay, let's see. Oh, my parents don't know, but sometimes I get picked on by this one kid at school. His name is Eric Carbon, and he always tries to play jokes on me and stuff. Uh, really? Yeah, one time he made me think a meteor had hit the earth and convinced me to stay down in a bomb shelter for three days. <laughs> wow, that sucks. Yeah, and then this other time, he pretended to be me on the phone to my dad and called him a pussy. And so my dad came <laughs> home and beat me. Wow, sounds like this Cartman kid is pretty smart. No, he's not smart. He's just an asshole. And he's never gonna play a trick on me ever again. Really? You think so? Well, guess what, Butters? I have a surprise for you. Yeah, and he's never gonna get me again, because what Carmen doesn't know is that I know one of his secrets. What? When Carmen is playing all alone in his backyard, he likes to dress up like Britney Spears and pretend he's her. He sings and dances around with a life-size cutout of Justin Timberlake. Wait, I thought that the entire South Park already knows this. Because in Cartman's mom, well, not in Leanne, in the episode, Kyle and Stan, they sent a video of Cartman playing with his toys to the Bob Saget show. So logically, you would assume that everyone already knows this. You saw that? Yeah, and I videotaped him doing it. Nuh-uh. I've got the whole thing on tape, even him making out with the Justin Timberlake cutout. No way. Yeah, and if Cartman ever messes with me again, I'm gonna show that video to everybody. Then I'll have my revenge, boy howdy. Um, where is this videotape, Butters? Huh? Well, I don't know, it's around here somewhere. Hey, so what do you want to do now, Osimo? Uh, Butters, maybe you should give Osimo the videotape? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think making out with a cardboard of uh, Justin Timberlake is slightly better than having your hands in the pants of Ben Affleck. How come? Well, because Osimo can, like, back it up for you and make copies and stuff. I am Osimo. Oh, that's all right, Osimo. Come on, I have a lot of things to teach you. I love how Osimo has the little Romanian flag on his chest, on his robotic chest. Can, uh, can Osimo steal bicycles? Oh, son of a bitch. Hey there, have you heard about my robot friend? He's metal and small and doesn't judge me at all. He's a cyber wire bundle of joy, my robot friend. I like to dimp and daddle with my robot friend. He's smart as can be and emotion free. And yeah, the boys are like, Butters, you're such a dork. We would help you, but you're such a wimpy dwarf that we better stay out of this. But also, finally, Butters has a little bit of upper hand on Cartman. He's computed his way to my heart. 
are my robot friend. My robot friend. My robot friend. But everyone gets it, except for Butters. My robot friend. Oh, that's so cute. Did you see Butters and his friend Eric playing robot? Yes, those boys are quite imaginative. Leave it to them to find a fun way to do the dishes. I think what's more fun is when they were playing by Curious. If you're the accountability body of Butters, that makes you accountability bodyable. Don't forget about that. That's great, Osimo. You can carry all my laundry in one trip. Uh, Butters, it's getting late. You should be getting ready for bed soon. Okay, Mom. Well, come on, Osimo. Bedtime. Oh, is your little robot friend staying the night? Well, of course he is. He's my robot, ain't he? That's okay with your mom, Mr. Robot? Osimo does not have a mom. Yep, don't you know nothing about robots? Come on, Osimo. You can put my laundry away. Oh, that's just adorable. It's good to see Butters finally have a friend that wants to stay over. That did not sound uplifting. You know, it feels good because at least once, once in his life, Butters has the upper hand on Eric, but he doesn't realize this. Well, at least he's happy. I love to wash my feet in the morning and at night. Looking for my uh, family, Jesus I Christ, I can't go on like this. Butters, remember when you said you had a video of Eric Cartman dressed like Britney Spears? Oh, yeah? I would like to see what he looks like so I can beat him up for you. May I see the video? Yo, you don't need to do that, Osimo. Hey, I gotta put in my suppository. Can you help me? What? Remember I said I put that medicinal suppository in my anus? It'll be so much easier having you do it from now on. Um, actually, Osimo was not programmed for that function. No, it's real easy. I'll show you. You just take this little thingy out of the plastic paper, and then I'll, I'll pull down my pants. And just slide it up in my anus there. <laughs> okay. Osimo, I thought you were programmed to do whatever I tell you. <laughs> I'll let you listen to this without the visuals. Tell me how you feel about it. You just take this little thing out of the plastic paper, and then I'll, I'll pull down my pants. And just slide it up in my anus there. Weak. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty Weak. good. Get it up there good and deep. Lame. All right, Osmo, time for us to get some sleep. Hey, you want me to teach you some bedtime songs? If you leave me now, you take away the biggest part of me. Woo! <laughs> Baby, please don't go. Overloading. Oh, oh, all right, Osmo. Let's get us some shut eye. Or whatever robots have. Oh, that, that robot must be stinking. Also, the fact that Cartman did not eat a thousand grams of trans fats during the past day. His organism is gonna fucking explode. Of course. Where is it? Where is it? Osimo! Yeah. Osimo, what the Sam heck are you doing? Um, Osimo is reorganizing your stuff for you. Oh, cheese, cheese, Louise, my mom is gonna be awful sore when she sees this mess. Now, Osimo, that is a bad robot. You can't do no chores for me unless I tell you to do them. You got it? Osimo understands. Well, I'm gonna have to give you a spanking, Osmo, so that you learn better. <laughs> Just know, Osmo, that I did it because I love you. Up. Like father, like son. Now all that's left is for Butters to show Cartman this beautiful wrestling place called White Swallow. Look at that, Osmo. I drew a picture of us playing in a field together. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some Sunny Delight. I would like some Sunny Delight, too. <laughs> don't be silly, Osmo. Robots don't need to drink nothing. <laughs> Oh, well, go answer the door, Osimo. How the Osimo hell did he the survive door. the past two days? <laughs> what the hell are you doing, fat ass? Dude, are you still pretending to be a robot? Shh. I just need to uh, make Butters think I'm a robot for a little while longer. Why? Because I need to, all right? I've got something planned that's uh, going to be really sweet. Just play along, okay? Why? God, God damn it, will you just do... Who's at the door, Osimo? Three boys named Stan, Kyle, and Kenny. Judging on some tendencies that Cartman usually has, I think it's fair to assume that this guy is a uh, robosexual. If you don't watch Futurama with me, you're not gonna get my exclusive, exquisite references. Ah, oh, hey, fellas. I see you've met my robot. Uh, yeah, Butters, he's real cool. He sure is. We do everything together. Well, last night we even had a slumber party. <laughs> he can do anything I command him to. He's real smart. Watch this. Hey, Osimo, will you go get my friend some Sunny Delight? Yes, of course. Oh, this feels so good. Oh, wait. Hey, Osimo, I'd also like some celery sticks chopped up two inches long with peanut butter and raisins on top. Suck my balls, Kyle. <laughs> He's made in Japan. <laughs> yes, it has just been a delight having your son over, Mrs. Cart. 
Don't worry, it was the village priest. We only had sex. The fucking delivery company wants me to get packages for neighbors that are not home today. Suck my balls. And he and Butters are really getting along great. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it, Mrs. Starch. Eric has been having some emotional problems lately. Well, the reason I'm calling is that Butters is supposed to go see his Aunt lately. Nellie in Los Angeles this weekend. The boys are getting along so well that we were thinking of inviting Eric to go along. Oh, well, I'm not sure. Actually, Eric is still supposed to be grounded for trying to exterminate the Jews two weeks ago. <laughs> Such a casual incident when it comes to an eight-year-old. Go, I'll bring some of his clothes over. Oh, wonderful! The boys will be so excited. Maybe he put that videotape in here somewhere. Osmo, what are you doing? My friends are waiting for their beverages. Chop chop. <laughs> hey guys, great news! Chop, chop. It's all been arranged. You two are both going to Los Angeles to visit Butter's Aunt Nellie. Oh boy, my robot gets to come with me to see Aunt Nellie. What? Oh boy, Osmo, we're gonna have the best time ever. Lame. Oh man, it keeps getting better. It keeps getting better. At the end of this episode, I really hope Cartman is gonna suck some Jewish toes. Sorry, that's a personal thing of mine. Hey, Nelly, look what I found scrapping around the airport. Hi, Aunt Nelly. There's my little nephew. How was your flight? It was long. We had a three hour delay departing Denver, but we're here. Can you bring any bags? Well, sure, but my robot is bringing them in. Your robot? Butter's new friend is a little strange. He. He really takes playing robot seriously. Robosexual. There he is. Osimo, this is my Aunt Nellie. Hello, it's nice to have you here. Osimo must dispense oil waste. Where is the nearest toilet, please? Oh, oh, right through there, Mr. Robot. Thank you. Do you guys also have this in your families where on the side of your mom, the aunts and uncles are amazing people, nicest people ever. But on the side of the father, God forbid. I don't think he took the costume off the entire trip. Well, did you want to get right to sightseeing, or are you boys hungry after such a long flight? No, I ate on the plane. And Osimo was a robot, so he don't need to eat. Right. Eating toothpaste! Osimo! Osimo is coming! Come on, Osimo! We're gonna go with sightseeing! I don't think Cartman was in such a bad shape even after the tolerance camp. At least Butters doesn't make him make macaroni pictures of gay people. For now. Uh, I'm hanging out in Nelly with my robot friend. We're having such fun in the hot, hot sun. We're two of a kind. That's me and my robot friend. My robot friend. My robot friend. Can you believe we're in a real live movie studio, Osimo? Are we having the best time? Butters, wouldn't you like to have some time away from Osimo? We could meet up later, perhaps. Hey, look over there, Osimo. The film studio commissary. That's where all them rich movie producers that come up with the Hollywood blockbusters have their lunch. Neato, huh? Don't go there. Damn it, Mitch. How Don't go there. If you go there, you might accidentally end up in a new She-Hulk movie. Jesus Christ. Imagine your entire family knows about the fact that you were an actor in She-Hulk. How come our movie studio can't come up with any winners? I mean, we're smart, right? We're really smart. We need an idea for a movie that's a home run. A feel-good romp for the whole family. Hey, what's that over there? Wow, that's a really neat little robot you have there, little boy. What's he do? Well, he can do anything. Watch this. Hey, Osimo, who's gonna win the Super Bowl next year? Wait, wasn't this guy on the left one of the fifth graders from the preschool episode? Maybe it's just a coincidence. Pubes! The New Orleans Saints. <laughs> Mr. Robot, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Let's have sex with this robot. Right freaking now! Maybe that robot can be programmed to come up with movie ideas. Exactly. Gentlemen, this little boy was kind enough to let us show you his robot, the Osimo 4000. I've already seen what it can do. Uh, excuse me, sir, but uh, that's not a robot. It's not? No, it clearly has bipedal movement, so the correct term is computerized automatron. Oh, very nice. <laughs> well, it's funny that everyone in this world gets the fact that this is a kid playing robot. Except for Butters and Hollywood. So I believe maybe this automatron can help us come up with new movie ideas. How can a robot come up with better ideas for movies than us? Watch this. Osimo, 
Given the current trends of the movie going public, can you come up with an idea for a movie that will break a hundred million box office? Um, okay, how about this? Adam Sandler is like in love with some girl, but then it turns out that the girl is actually a golden retriever or something. <laughs> 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 Is this the way Family Guy writes their episodes? I think this mother f of a robot that is Cartman can cause another writer's strike. Boy, Los Angeles is great, huh, Osimo? Can you believe those guys paid us $100 a piece for those movie ideas? You should split that money with Osimo. After all, they were Osimo's ideas. All oh, right. What are you going to do with money, Osimo? Buy some robot pants? I'm going to make a quick assumption. I think Butters is going to send all of this money to a puppy shelter or something. What Butters should really do with this money is invest them in a nice cryptocurrency. Holy coin. Exclusively available next Tuesday. <laughs> no, we got each other and that's all we need, Osmo. I'm going to send this money to needy kids in third world countries. <laughs> Expectable. Okay, Osmo? Osmo needs to rest. <laughs> Feeling faint? Well, you go ahead and relax, Osmo. We've got another full day of pitching movies tomorrow. Nice. Once again, Butters is exploiting him, but he doesn't know that he's doing so. If you're taking advantage of someone, it's good to at least be aware of it. Gentlemen, ladies, we all know that we live in a time of uncertainty. The risk of an attack on American soil is higher than ever. Now, I believe we might be able to curb that risk. Two days ago, our intelligence department came across this. The Osimo 4000 <laughs> is currently being used by Catamount Pictures to develop ideas for movies. Okay, another addition to our list of stupid people. Butters, Hollywood, and now US military, of course. Our sources say that in just one week, it has come up with over 1,000 movie ideas, 800 of which feature Adam Sandler. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible! You're thinking the robot could be used to come up with anti-Islamic movies? No, if we got our hands on that robot, we could reprogram it and turn it into a weapon. Yes, that might be the best thing to do. Uh-huh, I don't see how we have a choice. Hold on a second. If that robot is designed for entertainment, then turning it into a weapon is unethical. Unethical? Let me explain something to you, Mr. Scientist. We understand that the robot is from Japan. That means that the Japanese have more of them. And if the Japanese fabricates one of them into a weapon before we do, Jesus, it would be Pearl Harbor all over again. <laughs> Moral of the story, every single lethal weapon on this earth should be in the just and fair hands of the US military. We are not going to exploit it, you guys. Binky swear. With robots. I'm sorry, I must protest. We, we have no data suggesting the Japanese have developed a robot with offensive capability. Well, Mr. Scientist, what about Pearl Harbor? Do you want that? Or when the Japanese smoked the sodomies in France? You're paid to think, Mr. Scientist. National security is our job. Gentlemen, <laughs> we're going to Los Angeles. I want that robot. Yeah, me and my robot are still over at the movie studio, Aunt Nelly. We're making all kinds of money for the poor. Movie idea number 2305. Adam Sandler <laughs> is trapped on an island and falls in love with a coconut. Great, Osimo, great. Uh, guys, take a break. I need a minute alone with Osimo. Oh, yeah, okay, 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 lunch, Bob, let's go out there. You I know, I know where this is headed. I predict five seconds for this producer to get his dick out. You are an incredible robot, Osimo. I was just wondering, are you by chance a pleasure model? What? Oh, have you been programmed to satisfy the urges of humans. How old is Osimo in robot ears? Is this a case of robophilia? Osimo does not understand. Let me show you what I mean. Well, yeah, we're having a great time, Aunt Nelly. These movie studio guys are real nice. Lame. Yeah, well, I'm not <laughs> Not cool. Totally lame. <laughs> Osimo? Well, I gotta go, Aunt Nelly. Osimo's having some kind of malfunction. <laughs> Mr. Weinstein, could you please stop trying to fuck everything that moves? Osmo? Hey, where'd you go? <laughs> well, a bit, a bit longer than five seconds. Let's go! Move! Move! <laughs> Osmo? Hey, move, move, move! That's my robot! Osmo! 
it does make sense that every time Butters has a thing that brings him joy in his life, the US military has to take it away. Are those arm and leg locks secure? Secure, sir. Good. I don't want that robot mobile until I know what it's capable of. All right, power it on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what the hell? What's going on? It powered itself back on. Huh? Stand by. Be ready to destroy it. Where the hell am I? Hey, why can't I move? Are your systems stable? Run a systems check on your CPU. The fuck are you talking about, dude? I I'm sorry, robot, but they want me to reprogram you. I'm not a robot, dumbass. I'm alive. What did you say? I said I'm a real person, asswipe. <laughs> I think we might have gotten ourselves the first robot that passes the Turing test. For those of you that are not familiar with this, the Turing test is basically how homosexual is a robot. Does a robot understand that he has gay proclivities? Does a robot want another robot to change his oil? Oh my god. Sentience. What's happening? The robot. It thinks it's alive. It's developed consciousness. What? How can that be? It must be a malfunction of its hexagraphical IMS or the interlaced BV system. Speak in a language we can understand, Mr. Scientist. Hexagraphical scientist. IMS. Your robot doesn't know it's a robot. God damn it, give me down here. Look, retards, my name is Eric Cartman. I live with my mom in South Park, Colorado. Dear Christ, they gave it memories, too. Sure, why not? Program the memories of some eight-year-old boy who doesn't exist and make the robot think he's real. Makes for a lot better movies. I'm not reprogramming a robot that's developed consciousness. Do I have to remind you of your position? Don't forget you have a duty to your country, Mr. Scientist. Ah, is this the robot Hunter Biden was having sex with in Ukraine? Hey there, did you know I had a robot friend? We used to laugh and play, but someone took him away. He was my 10 gigahertz old pal. My robot friend. I love how every third person roaming the streets of LA is either a hippie or a hobo or both. Hey, wait a minute. Well, that's the bandit. Oh my god! God damn it, stop! I'm real! I'm real! It'll all be over soon, robot. Oh. Hang on. I'm getting you out of here, robot. Oh, it's about freaking time, jackass! What the hell are you doing? I, I'm saving a conscious being. If you want to kill it, you'll have to go through me. Fine, kill that son of a bitch. No, look, goddammit, now I can show you stupid assholes who I really am. Osimo! I am the Osimo 4000. <laughs> Once again, Eric Cartman has the best priorities in this world. Of course you're gonna let an innocent scientist die because you don't want to be exposed by butters. There. You see? You want to tell me this isn't humanity? Who's to judge what makes something human anyway? Does this make me human? <gasps> or this? <laughs> or these? <laughs> Let me show you what makes you human. Perhaps there is consciousness in this robot. Maybe we as a society need to realize that artificial intelligence is intelligence all the same. And we can learn from the robots. I think maybe one day we can all... Wait a minute, did, did that robot just fart? Hey, robots don't fart. Uh, now ending fart sequence. <laughs> oh, smells too. No sequence initiated. A robot with smelly farts? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> so everything before this made absolute sense, but this robot cannot f***ing fart. It's always this one stupid thing that makes the obvious thing become absolutely obvious in South Park. Wow. Nice one, Butters. I'm really proud of my little fella finally learning how to take revenge on assholes. When do they start to make out? 
Wow, kid, you're a little fat. <laughs> I don't think he meant the F word in a Tolkien sense. Seeing Butters having the upper hand over Cartman makes me genuinely happy and uplifted and filled with an utter excitement. I'm a little piggy, here's my snout. Oink, oink, oink. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching this episode with me. If you have more suggestions, drop them in the comments below. But apart from that, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And I'll see you next time. You just take this little thingy out of the plastic paper, and then I'll, I'll put it on my pants. And just slide it up in my anus there. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Get it up there good and deep. Lame.